We can activate any Python virtual environment with just a single click in a VS Code editor. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this short video. The traditional way of activating a Python virtual environment is by typing in the command line. However, this requires us knowing the exact folder path of the virtual environment we want to use. If there are many virtual environments on our computer, then managing them will become difficult over time. That's why I was so happy when I found out about this tool called Python Environment Manager, which is an extension tool of the VS Code editor. VS Code is one of the best source code editor tools out there that supports various programming languages, including our favorite, Python. If you're not using it already, you gotta try it. You can find the download link by googling VS Code and that will take us to the download page. I will leave a link to the download page in the description below. Once we download and install VS Code, let's open it. I've already have it installed, so it's this window right here. Let's click on this icon, which is the extension marketplace. We can find a lot of useful extension tools here. And in the search bar, simply type Python and a bunch of results will show up. And this is the one we want. It's called Python Environment Manager. This extension has 1.6 million downloads and let's install it by clicking on the install button. It should take just a few seconds for the installation. Then we should see this Python icon appear on the left hand side panel. Click on it. So the first one, the global, this is our global Python interpreter and our virtual environment will be listed under the VM. Let me go ahead and deactivate the current virtual environment and show you how to activate it again from the Python environment manager. So now instead of typing the activate in the comment line here, we can just choose a Python environment from the list and then click on this icon in the middle that says open in terminal. Sometimes you will see this thing pops up in the middle. Uh, that's okay, just click away. And we have our virtual environment activated. If you find the video helpful and like it so far, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips on Python. The easiest way to add a virtual environment to this list is by adding our project folder into the workspace. For example, let's add this new project folder called Jungle. For now, it's just an empty folder and we're going to use this as an example. So inside VS Code, click on this top icon here for the workspace view. Then right click in here and choose Add Folder to Workspace. Then select our new project folder called Django and then add it. So now we have this Django project folder added to our workspace. And now we just need to make sure that this project folder contains a virtual environment we want to use. If it doesn't already have one, now it's a time to create a virtual environment for this project. So we just finished creating a new virtual environment called Django VN, and that's inside this Django project folder. Now let's head back to the Python environment manager tab and we still don't see the new virtual environment here yet. Don't worry, and let's refresh the list by clicking on this refresh button. And here we go, our Django VM just showed up. And we can switch to this new virtual environment with just a single click. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.